Ugh, somebody give her a tissue! Oh my! Butler? You know what to do! What's that squishy toy for? This little thing likes to eat slime! There, you're all clean! You're so dirty! Let me wipe that off for you! Ew, those poor people! Come on, let's go see a movie! Two tickets for Hotel Transylvania! Here are our tickets! Is that Daddy Longlegs? What is he planning to do? Why is it so dark in here? Ow, where are the lights? What? Is that a hand? Wait, that looks familiar. What's this? Something's touching me! I feel it too! It's Mommy Longlegs! <laughs> Vampires are wanted! With a $100,000 reward! No! We've got them now! <laughs> Get in your cell! Hurry up! Come on, no dilly-dallying! Get in! We did a great job, partner! I can't believe we're really in jail! Oh, is that a mouse? Look, sweetie, we have food! Looks like we'll have a rodent for lunch! Want some? Get that thing away from us! Ew! It's tasty! We can't stay here! Officers, please take us to a different cell! No? I see! How about I pay for it? Okay, we'll take it! Gimme! Okay, ladies, we're transferring you to a new cell! Well, we're excited! I guess this cell is all ours now! We'll be just fine! Here we are! Your brand new cell! Get in! Let's splurge this cash! I love our new cell! All dark and broody, just how I like it! Yay! Aha! I almost got you! What is mom chasing? A mouse! Come here! Don't be shy! Gotcha! Arr! Sweetie, dinner is ready! Blech, I don't want a mouse! No? What else do we have? Food! Who wants food? I'm selling fresh bread and fruit! Me! I need food! Can I have some? No, you're poor! Please? Fine! You can have some bread and porridge! But they look stale! I guess this will do. Sadie? No, it looks ugly! How do I make it better? I know! What is mom up to? I'm gonna take a slice and cut it in half. Perfect! Set aside the one half for a while. And I'll write R.I.P. on the other half with mustard. Voila! Prop it in the porridge. And it looks just like a graveyard! Eat up! Wow! This is so cool! Mmm! Is it yummy? Yeah! My skills are unmatched! I'm so hungry! My stomach keeps on rumbling! Feed me, Mom! We'll find you something to eat! Officer, come here! What's wrong? Give me a variety of food! My poor daughter is starving! Yikes! Okay, we've prepared different dishes for you! Bring them in! First up, we've got a sweet girl. Her blood tastes like a bubblegum lollipop. Give it a taste. Whoa! Nom! Nah, too sweet. Oh, man, she doesn't like me. Sorry, just go now. What's next? Now this guy's a gym rat. Thanks to all that sweat, his blood is salty. Nom! Ugh, I don't like it. I bet you'll like this sour girl. She tastes like lemons. Nom! Too sour! How about some spicy blood? Nom! Hot, hot, hot! Too spicy! Hey, you haven't given us any decent food! Let me check the vampire recipe book. Ah, I know what you like! Ta-da! A bloody red soup! Ah, uh, it's making me nauseous! No? Hmm, what if I... Is that an eye gummy? Bring in the extra flavor. It looks terrifyingly good, huh? Wow! I want to taste it! Mmm! This is the best! I'll give it two thumbs up! Oh, don't 
flatter me. Poor Sadie is suffering from a cold. What was that? Whoops, Sadie just sneezed out a huge slime. You poor thing, you're burning up. Let me wipe that off. Ugh, there's still leftover slime from last time. I know, I forgot I had my socks on. Mom's got everything to wipe slime off except a tissue. So gross. What to do with your fever? You're boiling hot. Oh, a doctor. It's just mommy long legs with a scary giant syringe. <laughs> Time to give you an injection. No, I'm so scared. What? Where did she go? My daughter turns into a bat when she's scared. Come here. You're getting that shot, so you get better. Go on, Doc. I'm on it. Here I go. No, I'm really scared. But you really need to get that shot. Hold on, let me think of something. Is that a bunny plushie? On a syringe? Use this. A bunny syringe? It does look less scary. I guess it will work. Aw, she's so cute. It didn't even hurt. Oh yeah, my genius trick worked. It's lunchtime. Ooh, spaghetti. We've got a blood sauce. And a garlic sauce. You must try the garlic. Oh no, vampires are allergic to garlic. Thank you, this looks delicious. I'm so excited to eat. Num! Huh? I smell smoke. I'm burning! Garlic. I'm so sorry. I'll call the doctor. It's so hot! I've got a first aid kit. Oh, that seems bad. I'll check your mouth with the popsicle stick first. Open up. I don't like it. Get it out of my mouth. Whoa, you've got strong fangs there, buddy. <laughs> Hold on, I have medicine for you. Blood drops for your vampire tongue. I'm going to pour a few drops in the glass. And it shall cure you. Drink up. I don't like it. Let me see that. Ugh, it smells bad. Is that a vampire lollipop? Just dip it in the blood drops to make it taste sweet. Ta-da! Lollipop! Mm. Cool trick. Vampires are so smart. Finally, it worked. Oh no, what is Sadie planning to do with that steak? I'll kill you! Ouch! My hand! I heard a cry. What happened? Let me see. You got a splinter? Let's throw this steak away. Whoa! That was close. What should I do? I'll try pulling it out with my fangs. No, that hurt. Something else. Aha, uh -huh, I know. A syringe? I'm gonna use the syringe to suck out the splinter. Here goes nothing. It worked. I'm a genius. You're my hero, Mom. I'm gonna leave now. Watch out. Ow, my hand. My daughter. What? Oh, no. It's okay, sweetie. My hand hurts. <laughs> Don't cry. You, fix this. Or I'll hurt you back. You're making me dizzy! I've got an idea! What is she gonna do with the bat? Got it! I'll stick the bat on the jail bar so it will prevent the door from closing! Smart, right? Nice! It's definitely working! This bat is so squishy! Whoa! The door is not crushing my hand! What's wrong? Let me see your Barbie. Poor doll. She needs new hair, huh? I know. Scissors? Cut the tip of a balloon and wrap it around Barbie's head. Now time for a sticking sesh. I'm gonna coat Barbie's head with glue. Gotta make sure her entire head is coated. 
And for the ultimate sacrifice, I'll give Barbie a few sections of my hair. I don't mind a haircut. Looking good! I'll apply those strands to Barbie's head. And she's fresh from the salon! Here! Wow, she's so pretty! Thanks, Mom! Barbie's happy too! Yay! Uh-oh, Molly's up for some hairstyling today! Is she really gonna cut her hair? Wait, I can't do it on my own hair! What if I do it to Mom? Look at her long braid! So tempting! <laughs> Here I go! Well, that's one way to easily get a bob haircut! My hair! What have you done? Why did you cut off my braid? I'm so sorry! I just want to be a hairstylist! Oh, don't give me those puppy eyes! Huh? Is that a new hair trend? <laughs> How dare you make fun of me! Hypnotizing game it is! I compel you to get a haircut from my daughter. I will get a haircut from your daughter. It worked. <laughs> Come on in. Welcome to Molly's hair salon. <laughs> I need a haircut. Hi there. My first ever customer. Would you like a bob cut? Here, I'll cut it for you. Wow, so much pink hair. Let's take it all off. Oh dear, someone's gonna go home bald! You don't need to worry about tangled hair when you're bald! <laughs> You'll thank me later! There! You look perfect! Huh? What just happened? What the? Where did all my hair go? <laughs> you naughty child! Broke Mom and Sadie are sleeping peacefully. But not for long! Not when you hang your foot out like that! Here come the monster claws! He's going to take Sadie away! Huh? Mommy! What's wrong? Is there a fire? What is it? It's gonna be okay, sweetie. Mommy will protect you. What should I do? Oh, a closet! I know! Stay here! What is mom planning to do? The closet looks like it could fit two people. Just need a pillow here. Come on, Sadie. Okay, I'm coming. I see, it's a makeshift vampire coffin. Now they'll be safe and sound. Go away, monster. You don't have a chance. Just give up. Just like that, these two are sleeping like a rock. <laughs> this lipstick looks good on me. Ow! What the? Mommy! Catch the pillows! Whee! Hey! Go to sleep! It's time for bed! Stop jumping around! But I don't want to sleep in this bed! It's ugly and uncomfortable! We don't have any other beds. Hold on. I know. Hey! Officers! Yoo-hoo! What does she want? What's the matter? I need you to replace this bed. Replace it? We've got it. The bed is ready. Woo! A brand new coffin for the little vampire made out of gold. I want to try. This is so cozy. I like it very much. Well, then we better leave you to it. Oh, this is perfect. I'm so glad you like it. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mom. Oh, it's just you! Little vampires also need monsters to tell them bedtime stories. It worked! Molly's fast asleep. Have a bloody good sleep! Oh, I found an apple! Lucky me! I want to give her a makeover! I'll start with the foundation. Dab it on with a blender. Then I'll use an eyebrow pencil to draw her face in. Nose and mouth. Almond eyes. I want to give her pouty red lips. Mwah! And a cute blush on. And blue eyeshadow. I'm almost done. She looks perfect. And delectable. Yum! Huh? 
me see. Oh no, not your fang. This is bad. Such a rude apple. Officer, can you help me fix my daughter's tooth? What do you want me to do? Let me have your gum. I already chewed it. But if you insist, here you go. Yes, just like Play-Doh. Now let's put my shaping skills to the test. I did it! A makeshift fang! Look, I got you your fang back! It fits just right! Yay! Oops! No more apples for now! Okay, I'm just glad I have my fang back! Mommy Longlegs is being sneaky! Whoa! This looks like a snack! I want to take a bite! No! My fang fell out! Hey! You almost ruined my watch! Thank gosh, it's fine! Uh-oh! What happened to you? Let me see… Your fang is gone! This is unacceptable! We have to call the dentist! Hello? Please help my daughter out! That dentist looks familiar! Let me check… Missing fang, huh? Fix it! I know what to do! Just let me get my tools! What is the dentist making? This looks serious! Ta-da! A golden fang! This is perfect! Let's put it in! A new set of golden teeth! I bet you could bite a rock with those golden fangs! Look at that fancy smile! My water broke! My baby is coming! Water orbs? Oh no! You're about to give birth! This is a red alert! Relax! Just take Ew. me to the hospital! Hop on! Hurry! Hey, slow down! Huh? My wife is about to give birth! Hurry up and take her! Okay, okay, just put her on the bed! Now I'll wrap you up in a blanket and push! Go! You can do it! I see the head! Keep pushing! I can't There she is! She's swimming out! Come here! I got her! She's got naughty fins! Ow! Ow! Stop it! Look at our little girl! She's strong like mommy! Give her to me! Hi there, little mermaid! I need water! That was a fantastic birth! Gotta make sure my nails are sharp, huh? Oh my gosh! I feel him coming! My water broke! Help! What's wrong? What to do? What to do? I'm panicking! Keep it together and call the doctor! Doctor! I'm here! The sun is too bright for their skin! Oops, sorry! <laughs> Let's start! Why don't you lie down, honey? You're gonna be just fine. The blanket is ready. Now push! Gah! You're doing so great. Just a little bit more. He's so Gah! close. Whew. Your little boy is healthy. Ah, he bit me! Gee, Doc, he just wanted his first meal. My neck! Is my baby safe? Oh, there he is. He looks just like his daddy. I can totally see the resemblance. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? You're under arrest for biting this innocent woman. Look what you did to her neck. You're going to jail. Her or me? Or is it the skull? Well, uh, that's it. You're both going to jail then. No, please. Just get in your cell! Please let us out! We need to pee! Fine, the fish girl goes first. Stay back. All right, here's the toilet. Open the door. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty! I don't want to use that toilet. You don't get to complain. What if I bribe you with some pearls? Wow! I'll take them. We have a better toilet for you. Are you kidding me? This is like a vacation. Okay, I'll go pee now. 
Hold on. The toilet seat is so cold. What is it this time? Cold? I know. Is that a squishy? What is the cop planning to do? Huh? I'm gonna paste squishy stickers all over the toilet seat. Their squishy butts will protect your own butt from freezing. Nice! Oh, how warm! There's the toilet! Ew, a rat and a snake! I'm not going in there. Time to use my hypnotism skills. You will take me to a clean toilet. I will take you to a clean toilet. The clean toilet is this way. Great! Whoa, dark and spooky! Those cobwebs are a nice touch. But I don't like the smell. Hey, is that a spider? What is Ivy gonna do with that vermin? I'm just gonna set the spider inside the tank. So when I flush the toilet, the spider's cherry liquid will fill up the bowl. Ah, the air smells better. Get out of here! Sorry, I'll give you privacy. Oh no! My water broke! My baby is coming! Don't worry, I'm here! Push! Push! I am pushing! She's here! Your cute little fishy! No way! My baby doesn't have a fish head! This isn't happening! Will you shut up? Oh my gosh! It was just a dream! Thank goodness! Hi, Ariel! Can we touch your belly? No! Don't touch my belly! Stop it, please! Uh. Are those tentacles? What? Ew! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Let's leave! Thank goodness! They were annoying! Phew. Hold on! Where did these tentacles come from? Surprise! I have come for some belly rubbing, too! <laughs> this is fun! Oh, come on! What's going on here? Help me! She won't stop touching my belly! Is that a puffer fish? What is he gonna do with the puffer fish? I just need his spikes! Yay! Now let's get to work! Got him! I'm back! I found a solution! What are you doing to my belly? Oh, wow. wow! So spiky! Ouch! It's hurting my tentacles! So long! I can't believe these spikes really worked! Ivy and Dracula are here to visit the doctor! The line is too long! What are we gonna do? A vampire! With a pregnant belly? Whoa, it looks so soft! Hi there, little baby! Step back! So adorable! Get your filthy hands off me! Do something, Dracula! Huh? Don't bite her! Look, biting is not allowed! Then what else could we do? I need to come up with something! What do we have here? A baby doll? What is he planning to do? I'm gonna do a magic trick! But I need the doll's limbs! Check this out! What are you doing? Turn around so I can work on the magic! This is going to be awesome! Okay… It's like the baby's limbs are poking out of her stomach! That's horrifying! Ew! I'm a genius! Ew. That's enough! <laughs> oh, um, let's get going! Fish? Nah… Caviar? And seaweed salad? I don't want any of these! Oh, is that a worm? Now that's more like it! The perfect topping for my salad! And you, fishy, are better off as human food! Bye-bye! I scored a huge fish! Time to dig in! Pregnant mermaids sure have an interesting palate! All those worms are still alive! Wait, I have a better idea! I want to put whipped cream on top! Oh, I got you! That's perfect! Hold on, put some caviar on there, too! Oh, yes! This is a five-star meal! Mmm, 
tasty. I think I'm gonna puke. Of course, vampires need a human sacrifice for dinner. Her blood doesn't smell right. Make it better. I guess I forgot this salt. Just a few sprinkles. No, I still don't want it. This meal is a chef's kiss. Give me something else. Fine. How about a fresh bloody steak and some tomato soup? I want that. What is it? Looks like a Halloween cake to me. Your wish is my command. I gummy cake is served. This is perfect. I want to spice things up. So I'll put these eye gummies in the meat grinder. Just filling it up. Then I'll give it a good spin. There they are, coming out like worms. I must keep them coming. That should be enough. Mmm, it smells like heaven. The sweetness will go perfectly with the steak. And a spoonful of tomato soup to top it off. Done like a culinary artist. Perhaps I should dig in now. Please don't. Oh, it's so savory. I need to poop. Come on, concentrate. Huh? Who's there? Show yourself, you monster. What if it's an evil sea creature? It's just Ariel. I'm not doing anything. All those scattered snack wrappers are kinda suspicious. What's this? Chocolate? You are such a mess, dear. We have to clean you up. Starting off with this hanging scrubber. Just rub your stomach all over it. This is so nice. It feels like a massage. I want to keep doing it. I'm all clean. But, uh, we need to do something about your messy mouth and hair. Perhaps you have a gadget for that? I'm so tired. These heels are making my feet swollen. I need to prop them up. Her feet are as dry as cornflakes. Oh, dear. You shed skin better than a snake. This is so gross. Ugh. Let me think of something. Aha! Uh -huh. A foot cleaning gadget. You won't need to move a muscle. Just tuck your foot inside the gadget and start brushing. Now that it's covered in foam, let's scrape it off with a popsicle stick. Looking good! Okay, up next, the soaking boots. I'm gonna fill them up with milk and mix in a few drops of honey. Now soak your feet for a while. A total spa treatment! You can even go about your day while having your feet cleaned. Ariel is about to get an ultrasound. Are you ready, mommy? I'm gonna start rubbing. This will be a little cold. Hi, mommy! Hi, baby! Is that a shark? Ah! My daughter is in danger! Help her! Do something! Let me think. Uh, I can reel him out with some bait. Please save my daughter! It's working! I got the shark out! Oh shoot, where do I put this? Bye! Phew! Thank gosh, she's safe! That was close! You could be a fisherman, Doc! It's Ivy's turn to get an ultrasound! Have a seat, ma'am! Okay, let's start! Let's see… What's that? I'm out of blood! Oh! He's got your fangs! Oh my, the baby turned into a bat! He's headed straight for the mummy's blood! No! Give me my blood back! Oh, die! I'm going back in now! Yum, fresh! What just happened? I got more blood juice! We're so proud of our boy! Whoa, what was that? Stop hitting me with your tail! But I can't sleep! My belly is too heavy! I have an idea! What's up there? What's happening? Hand over your floaty! Ah! 
Sir, I'm sinking! I got it! Oh no, I poked a hole in it! Aha! Uh -huh. Nothing a piece of tape can't fix! Now let's blow it back into shape! It's ready! What is this floaty for? Just rest your belly in the hole! Like this? Oh wow, this is comfy! I can sleep better now! And I can sleep better too! Or maybe not! Whatever, silly! Ah, I'm ready for bed! My coffin looks comfy enough! So warm! Clothes, please! Huh? Her giant belly is in the way! Come on, just close! Dracula! Come here! Fix this problem right now! My coffin won't close because of my belly! That sounds serious, Think. Oh, a knife! What is it? What is he gonna do with a knife? Cutting a hole in the coffin? Smart! Almost there! All done! Let's give it a try! Hurry up and close the lid! As you wish! Your belly fits just right! Good night! Looks like our little princess Ariel is having fun with her fishy buddy! Something's coming! Wow! A puffer fish! I want to touch it! Ouch! It spiked my finger! A splinter? What to do? Oh! What a beautiful shell! I've got an idea! I can use the shell's mouth to pull out the splinter! See? Easy peasy! Yay! Shh! Ariel is deep asleep! Uh-oh! Are those tentacles? They're getting closer! It's Ursula! I'm gonna take away Ariel's voice! Huh? Mommy! Where's the flashlight? There! Get away from me, you ugly octopus! Help me! Oh shoot! This isn't over! Did I hear screaming? My poor baby! What happened? Ursula was here? But it's just a pile of things on your chair! You're just imagining things! I'm still scared! Don't leave me! Look! Pikachu's been having ocean adventures! And it seems Mom has an idea! Let me see… I only need this globe jar! Bye, Pikachu! What is Mom planning to do with the jar? I'm going to decorate the jar with a nice plant and a glowing light! Then I'll fill it up with some water orbs! Now I'll close it up to secure the orbs inside! Cool night lamp, huh? It will repel all the evil octopuses like Ursula! Now go back to sleep, dear! Good night, mommy! Sweet dreams! And don't let the seabed bugs bite! My pretty doll! Huh? All that sea salt gave the mermaid doll butt pimples! They don't look very nice! I want to pop those butt pimples! Here I go! Except it's giving your lollipop some extra flavor! Phew! That was tiring! I want to finish my lollipop now! Ah! Stop! You can't eat your lollipop anymore! Look how dirty it is! But I want to eat my lollipop! What should I do? My shell top? I have an idea! Shells don't just protect pearls! They can also protect lollipops! Nice! It's so tasty! I'll keep it safe for now while I pop some more pimples! Ready? At least the shell gets a decoration! I need to brush my teeth! Is this toothpaste enough? A worm? I hope Ariel won't get reeled in! Too late, she took the bait! I love worms! I can't believe there's more! I'll take that too! What are you doing? You're supposed to be brushing your teeth! Look at that mess! Oh! There goes your toothbrush! Go on! No! I don't want a brush! Think… Is that a worm? Ah! I know! If it's worms she wants, it's worms she gets! I'm gonna make worm figures using toothpaste! 
This should be plenty enough. I want to sprinkle some baking soda all over the worms so they can make the toothpaste solid enough to put on a hook. Here we go! I'll put the toothpaste worm over the hook, just like real bait. Look, a worm! My favorite! It's very minty! It cleans your teeth at the same time! Her teeth are as shiny as a pearl! Ew! That's a lot of slime, dear! Oh no, you're burning up! You need to drink medicine! Just a spoonful of cough syrup will make you better in no time! Take it! I don't want it! Honey, do something! Let's see… Perhaps a fisherman can help us! Whoa! Where's that coming from? I'm sinking! What is dad going to do with an empty soda can? I want a soda! One moment, dear! Here you go! Dad hid the cough syrup inside the can! That's so smart! What Ariel doesn't know won't hurt her! This is delicious! My husband is such a genius fishy! Ariel's all dirty from playing around with sand so much! I want to build a sand castle! Wait! Something's inside! I think the water will reveal what it is! Let's see… I see something… What is it? Wow! It's a toy! Dad, look! Huh? Ariel, look at you! It's like you went for a dive in the dumpster! We need to clean you up now! Come on, go shower! I don't want to! I'm busy playing! Your mom will kill me if she sees you like this! Huh? Is that… a crab? I know what to do! What's a crab gadget gonna do? Ariel, check this out! Huh? Wow, so many bubbles! Fun, right? Follow me and I'll show you how fun this crab can be! Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles! See? The tub is filled with more bubbles! Whoa! I wanna get in there! Hop in then! Yay! I love bubbles! Now let's wash off that dirt! Dad successfully lured Ariel into the bath! That was very easy! Ariel is excited for lunch! Veggie algae? That's one way to ruin an appetite! I hate it! It's good for your fins! Eat it, okay? I'm not convinced! I think I caught something! Come on! A blessing from above! What's inside that box? An apple and fries? Ew, no to the apple! Huh? Where did this apple come from? What? Human food tastes so good! Oops! Did you know fries are unhealthy? Eat an apple instead! No! McDonald's fries and an apple? I know! First, I'll slice off the top of the apple. Then I'll scoop out the middle part and cut it into fries shapes. M for McDonald's. And they look just like the fries! Wow! My special fries! It's so crunchy! Well, as for the real fries… Only mommies can eat them! <laughs> Even mermaids can't resist a yummy cake! Where's the knife? It seems Ariel beat you to it! Huh? No! You might slice your fingers off! I've got to make something fast like a lightning bolt! Is that a paper knife? Here! Little mermaids can only use paper knives! Look how easily a paper knife cuts through the cake! This is why we should never underestimate a paper cut! This is so delicious! That was close! Wow, is mom going somewhere today? Nice earrings! I want earrings too! Should I put one on? Let me try! Ouch! It hurts! Where's my other earring? Huh? 
What happened? I want earrings! Well, your ears are not pierced, but… A shell? I've thought of something! What is mom planning to do with the shell? Look, the shell has pearls inside! They're gonna be your earrings! But first, I need paper clips. I'm gonna cut the paper clip in half and apply glue on both ends to stick the pearls on. This won't hurt. I can easily hook it on your earlobe just like that. They're so pretty! I love it! Pretty just like your mom. <laughs> Ariel is thinking about doing something to her hair. Oh no, is she going to cut it? No! Don't cut your precious hair! That's a big no-no! But my hair keeps falling over my face! Let's see what we can do. Oh, is this your Barbie doll? What is mom up to? I'm gonna give you a nice little braid. You're almost done. Now let's spice things up and spray your hair with a bright green color. Gotta make sure we get every strand. It looks like a mermaid's tail, right? Now all we need is Barbie. And you've got mermaid Barbie hair! Wow! I look so pretty! You're the best hairstylist, Mom! So many fun sea creatures! What is going on here? Why is Ariel's arm full of tattoos? Take them off this instant! Relax! They're just stickers! See? Take them off! I don't care! Aw, oh, way to ruin the fun, Mom! What is she up to now? I'll use a sponge to rub off all the tattoos. Ow! It hurts! Look, my arm is all red! I'm so sorry! Bad sponge! I'll use tape instead. I'll just lay the tape over the tattoos, give it a few pats, and take it off. Instant removal! I'll do the same for the others. No more pain, right? But it might tickle a little. My tattoos! They're all gone now! Perfect! You look like a normal mermaid again! You don't get to join this hug, you bad influence! Ugh! Come out! Oops! Aiden doesn't like the water splash! Mario! Mario! Oh, come on, it was Mario's bath time! But of course, Aiden must come first. I don't like the water splashing. Is that so? I have an idea! We need the brick to yield a special item for us. There it is! An anti-splash powder! Let's go! We have to pour all of the powder into the toilet to make sure no splashes will happen. Are you ready? Give it a try! It worked! It didn't splash! This is great! Thanks, Mario! Way to go, Bowser! He's faster than Lightning McQueen! Uh-oh! Not the toilet! No! Mario! Mario is also in the middle of a Mario Kart race! Let's hope he doesn't land up in the toilet, too! Mario! I need help! What happened? Bowser landed in the toilet! I know! Come here! Are you gonna hit me? Silly! I just gave you a toilet seat the racetrack! What a smart invention! It's time to keep the wheels turning! Well, Mario also needs to get back to his Mario Kart race! He has a trophy to win! I think Aiden's overdoing it with the toothpaste. And he doesn't even want to use it. Whoa! What is this? Aiden? You're supposed to brush your teeth. But the toothpaste smells too minty. How about a tiny Bowser cap on the toothpaste? When you feed him some toothpaste, he'll poop it out for you. Funny, right? Now go on, brush your teeth. I don't want to. Mamma mia! I want to eat Nutella. That's it. Give me that. I'm gonna make a Nutella toothpaste. It's a perfect. Now Bowser has chocolatey diarrhea. 
Try it! Mmm! It's like mint chocolate! All those mushrooms he ate are a little bit hard to let out. Hey! Who's been stealing all the toilet paper? It's empty? There are no more rolls left! Except for one over on the bathtub. Oh no! It's Bowser! You evil turtle! Mario! Even the piranha plant heard the distress call. What's wrong? I'm out of TP! You don't need TP! What is Mario planning to do? I have a gadget in here! Ah! Bad plan! Get off me! Okay, let's try this again. Aha! I found it! Wow! This bidet comes with a pump! And look how easily it cleans balloons! You're done? Don't worry about flushing. You can simply throw the water away. Yeah. It's a very easy. Using the toilet should be a relief. Except when the toilet seat is too cold. Will Mario be able to help? What's the ruckus? I'm freezing. The toilet seat is too cold. Is that so? Maybe the heat of a hairdryer will help? Nice idea. It's making my butt all warm and cozy. As for the toilet seat. Is that a Mario squishy? I know! It's time to assemble all the squishies! Good thing they come in stickers so I can put them all over the toilet seat and keep it warm! Aiden, your toilet seat is ready! This is so comfortable and squishy! And squish all you can while you're at it! Whoa! This toilet seat is too high for Aiden! He can't reach it! Ah! Mario! Are you here at the stress call? Oh, hello! What's the problem? I can't reach the toilet seat! What can we do? Oh! What's the brick for? You can use this as a stepping stool! Climb on up! Wow! I feel so tall! I love it! Uh, uh, shoo! Ugh! Somebody get this boy a tissue! Or better yet, wash your hands in the sink. But we have a problem. Aiden can't reach the faucet. Eh, I'll just wipe it all off on the sink. What's going on? Mamma mia! Think? A shampoo bottle? I've got it! What is Mario planning to do? Let's clean up the slime using this squishy toy. He's full now! And I'll use the shampoo bottle to make a bridge for the water to flow closer. What a genius! You! We finally got rid of all that slime! Good job! And it's about time you finish that shower! Nothing is more relaxing than bath time! Oh no! The soap is too slippery! Uh-oh! Watch out! Who knew Mario had skateboarding skills? He's about to finish the Mario Kart race! Wah! Oof! Ow! My back! That must have hurt! We need to do something about this soapy situation! Is that a giant nose? Even better, it's a soap dispenser! I wish it was this easy to sneeze out a cold! That was easy! And no more skateboarding accidents! There's no better game to play than Mario Bros! It's King Boo! Wah! The controller just took a toilet dip! That means Mario also got drenched! And it's game over! I didn't mean to drop the controller! Ugh, that's nasty! We have to prevent this from happening again! Are those Mario's tights? It seems they also fit the toilet seat well! And to make it more convenient, cut a hole in the middle! Let's give this a try! Phew, it didn't fall in! How about a squishy duck? Nope, still safe! Nice! Back to the game! I have a feeling Aiden's winning! We must wash your hair properly! Ow! I got soap in my eyes! Oh no! I'm so sorry! What have you done to my boy? Here, I'll wipe it off! It's okay! You irresponsible man! 
It seems something else has caught Mario's attention. What is he planning to do with a crown? Wow, it's a crown-shaped shower cap! That's a useful gadget to prevent soap from getting into Aiden's eyes. Wow! Look at that mountain of sand! Let's pour water over the top like a volcano. Something solid is hidden inside. What could it be? Only one way to find out. A poop? Ew! Way to ruin the fun! Whoa! This sun has never been hotter! Anyway… La la la! Huh? Mom! I got sunburnt! It stings! You're so fried! Ow! Don't touch it! What should we do? Oh! An aloe vera leaf? And a knife! I'm gonna slice the aloe vera leaf down the middle to gather all the gel. I'll take a piece of the leaf and pat your sunburn with it. The aloe vera will soothe it. It worked! My skin feels so cool! Safety precaution! Wear a hat from now on! It's a peaceful night of family camping. Until Melanie's woken up by a shadow monster! Ah! Dad, wake up! There's a monster! Monster? Ah! Go away, monster! Ouch! What's going on? Monster, behind you! Ah! No! Silly guys, it's just a bunch of leaves! But I'm still too scared to go back to sleep! I need to think of something. Aha! Uh -huh. This Coca-Cola can just gave me an idea! First, I'll wrap a cute bunny drawing around the can. Then I'll make holes all along the outline of the rabbit to copy its shape. I'll take the drawing off and put lights inside the can. It's a night lamp! Of course, Melanie's lamp is a special unicorn version! Wow! I love unicorns! This will help me sleep! And Dad has a kitty version! Time to go back to sleep! Don't shudder just yet! It's just a pimple-popping toy! It's so satisfying! Except when it bursts into your eyes! I can't see! Uh-oh, watch out! Are you okay? Is that? Ah! So much blood! You'll be fine, I must have a band-aid in my bag. Huh? Is this a tiny pool noodle? Oops, that's a tampon. Wait, I have an idea. Let's unwrap the tampon carefully and apply it to your wound. Then tie it around your leg to secure it. It works just like a band-aid. Let's go! Have some grapes while we wait for our flight. Nice! Tastes good! Thanks, Mom! Huh? Chocolates? Mom, these chocolates are so tasty! Way better than grapes! How come he gets candy? Mom, I want candy too! This guy really knows how to put on a show! Excuse me, mister. Can we have some candy? Well, sure, but I've only got the wrappers left. Much better. I can put a grape inside and pretend it's candy. Here you go. Let me try. A grape-flavored candy. Yay! Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. Just one final touch and the sandcastle looks perfect. Uh-oh, here comes Dad! Huh? Oh no! You ruined my castle! <laughs> oh shoot! Your mom will kill me! I'll fix this, okay? Don't cry! You're just making it worse! That's not how you do it! Pink? Oh, I know! This is perfect! A duck sand mold! Quack, quack! Scoop some sand into the gadget and voila! They come in all kinds of shapes! Wow, this is fun! Yay! It worked! Great! 
you. Dad is safe from mom's wrath. Take off this floaty so I can put on your hat. Come here, my little fishy. No! Don't sit on the floor! Dad's keys are too sharp. And there goes the pop. Huh? Oh no! Is this yours? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Look what you've done. Wait, I know how to fix this with a hair straightener. Just fold a piece of paper over the hole and heat it up to close it. Now blow it up. You can do it. And the floaty is back. The beach trip is not ruined after all. Well, Dad's punishment is to carry all the bags by himself. <laughs> horsey, horsey, don't you stop! Horsey's about to somersault into the dirty toilet! Well, that's a 10 for execution! My horse! Oh my, that is disgusting! I have no choice but to grab it! The sacrifices I make as your mom! Yikes! That horse needs a bath! I'll just clean him up. Ribbons? I have a better idea. Let's get Horsey down and start off by brushing the slime off his mane. Then pop all his pimples. His tail hair and mane are too long anyway. Let's dip Horsey into some white paint. Now that he's milky white, it's time for a full-on makeover. Let's turn his mane and tail into rainbow colors. <laughs> Lastly, add a golden horn. Check out this unicorn. She's ready to ride along the rainbow with Barbie. Yay! Wow! It's so much better than a horse. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> no food allowed on the airplane. Hurry up. Melanie can't bring her Skittles. How are we going to get them inside? Oh, I know. I have an idea. Face masks. Watch this. We'll hide the Skittles inside the face mask by giving them a lick to make sure they stick. Really? Wow! What a colorful face mask. Smart, right? Let's go. We'll be late for our flight. No Skittles in sight. No food on the plane! We don't have food! <laughs> We're just sick, you know! We'll see about that! Great! All clear! I can't believe that hack worked! Yay! It's snack time! Strawberries! My favorite! Uh-oh! I gotta go number two! Where's the toilet? Um, uh, how about the bushes? Go, go! It seems like something's lurking in there. Hello? Is someone there? No way! I don't want to poop in the bush! I might get eaten by a monster! Then how will you poop? Hold on. The camping chair. I know! Let's make a toilet. I just need a box cutter to make a square hole in the seat. Peekaboo! <laughs> Add a plastic bag to the hole, and the DIY toilet is ready. Try it out. A uh, bit more privacy, please. Go away. <laughs> no problem. A shower curtain is the key. Nice. Thanks, Mom. Ugh, the smell. Boarding a plane takes so long, so you might as well pass the time by filling up a coloring book. I'm done! Next! No more pages! I'm bored! What to do here? I'm gonna go crazy! Oh! A passport? Looks like a coloring book to me! <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. What is she drawing on the guy's passport photo? Such a sneaky girl! <sighs> no! Uh-oh! What have you done to my photo? <laughs> you! Please don't hurt me! I'm sorry about my kid! What have you done? I was bored! 
I want to color something in. Color, huh? Hmm. Cardboard box. I know what to do. I'm going to draw a cute panda on the cardboard. Starting with the head and ears. Now for the eyes. And a cute smiley face. It's perfect. Now it's time to add some tape to our makeshift coloring book. You've got more animals to choose from. Wow! This is so cool! It worked! Best part is, you can wipe it off if you want a different color instead. I'll never get bored of this! Yay! What a sunny picnic day! I want to go on the sand. Ah! It's so hot! Oh my gosh! We need to do something. Aha! Uh -huh. This balloon could work. Step on the balloon just like a shoe while we let it deflate. Instant slippers. Of course, we can't forget the cute designs. There! Give the sand another try. They're so comfy! High five for our smart mom! <laughs> Melanie must bring all her toys. And the last on board is her favorite doll. I think you brought too many toys. Why won't you close? Ah, this is hopeless. Huh? I squished my doll into pieces. What's wrong? Your doll? Oh, poor you. Maybe we can fix her. We need a plan B. A monster storybook? Oh, I know. First things first, we have to cut the doll's buns off. Then hide her head inside some clay. This giant ball could use some limbs. The doll will just have to donate her other body parts. Now, cut a round piece from the front part. Now, paint shower. Can't go wrong with pink. Add some horns. A huge eyeball and lashes. And we've got a pretty monster. Check out Mike Wazowski's dream girl! Wow! Now they're all set for the beach trip! The family is going on a vacation! Wait! Where's our daughter? Melanie! Let's go! We're leaving! Are you here, Melanie? I'm not sure she'll fit under the carpet either! Maybe she's in her room! I'll go check! There you are! Silly girl! Melanie, we have to go! Huh? Why can't she hear me? Melanie, we have to go! What's going on up there? Why can't Melanie hear anything? Let me check her ears. It's full of wax. How will she be able to hear us now? Oh, I have an ear cleaner. Let's get to work. It might tickle a little. Ew, Melanie basically made her own earmuffs. This gadget will get rid of all that nasty earwax. Good thing this ear cleaner comes with a light show. Yay! She can hear us now! Yay! She can hear us now! Hold on! Dad's ears are full of wax, too! Really? How was Dad able to hear through all that slime? Beep beep! You'll get a speeding ticket at this point! Huh? And those poor toys! What a tragic accident! Oh no! The clothes! Bicycles are made to be used outside the house, after all. My poor toy! The poor toy got hit by a bicycle! Help him! Look at his broken arm! This is an easy job! Dr. Mommy is in the house! She's all suited up! Let's start the operation. Can we save him in time? First things first, check for the pulse. We have to cut his arm off. To put it back properly, we have to remove it first. Tweezers, please. This is practically his shoulder bone. We need to attach his arm. Then we can stitch it back up with a thread and needle. Mom is a professional at this. Look how awesome her stitching skills are. Surgery is done. 
I recommend bed rest for a few days so the stitch will heal. Wow! His arm is okay! My job here is done. What about Barbie? Well, being a mom and a surgeon is a full-time job. <laughs> you can only pack so much for a trip. But it seems Dad wants to bring the whole toy box. What is it? What's happening? I'm sick. Is that a cough I hear? I have a solution for that. Just dip the lollipop into the cough syrup. Stop that. She can eat it. Okay. What is mom looking for? Aha! Uh -huh. I found the mold. I'm going to make a homemade lollipop. Place a toothpick in each mold. Then pour in cough syrup. Let it freeze. And voila! A medicine lollipop. Here you go. Wow! This is yummy. Lollipop? Can I have some? I want a lollipop too. Well, I guess dad can enjoy it too, even if he's not sick. Lollipops are for everyone. It's a relaxing day for camping. Never mind. Dad seems to be looking for something. I have three splinters in my hand. Three? Oh dear, this is bad. Aha! I found the tongs. Are you crazy? You can't use those. Just stay back and let me do the job. We have a first aid kit for this. I present to you the pump gadget. This will suck out that nasty splinter fast. One down, two to go. It's gone! It doesn't even hurt! No need for tongs then, I see. Mom always knows best. The family is sleeping in a tent. Huh? What's that noise? What was that? I think there's a real monster out there. What's wrong, sweetie? There's something outside! Ah! They're gonna eat us! Honey, wake up! What is it? What's happening? There's a monster outside! Oh, silly. Those are just leaves. It's gone when you point a flashlight at it. It's so bright! Our eyes! This doesn't seem to work. Ah! You're right. It's like staring straight into the sun. Oh, I know! Mom is making a lamp out of a heart-shaped balloon. Cover it up with a tissue and start painting. Add a cute bear and glitter. Cover that up again with a tissue and paint some more. Then add stars this time. Repeat the same step, tissue and paint. Now that you've molded the shape of the balloon, we can pop it and get rid of it. I'm sure you can already tell who this lamp is gonna be. Huggy Wuggy! A Huggy Wuggy lamp? That's so cool! Now they can finally sleep in peace. Score! Yeah, that was a good shot! Another point for me! My turn! Yes! They're supposed to be packing their bags for the trip. But I guess a DIY basketball game won't hurt. Uh-oh, it's mom! What are you guys doing? This is not how you pack your clothes! Hold on… This box is giving me an idea! Let's see what mom is up to. She's cutting out the cardboard into pieces. Now she'll bring it all together with tape. Make sure to secure every corner. This way the cardboard can be foldable. It's done! You can fold your clothes with this. Let's give it a try. Put the shirt over the cardboard and fold it up on the sides. Wow. Then at the bottom. Wow! I did it! Maybe they should turn this into a game and score a point for every folded shirt. Huh? And look! They fit well in the suitcase. It's dad's turn to fold his clothes. Like this? Oh, I got it! This is too easy! Looks like Melanie and mom are going somewhere. Ready to go? Yep, all done! Whoa! Careful! My shoes! I think I put them on the wrong foot. How can you even get that wrong? You know what? We'll solve this. It seems Melanie can't tell which one is left and right. Mom's gonna put a sticker to mark which is which. This side goes on the right. And the other half goes on the left. Huh? This image doesn't seem right. Aha! This way! It's just like a puzzle. I'm ready to go. Hey, ladies. You guys ready? Dad, look! Dad put on his shoes incorrectly, too. Good thing I have extra stickers for you. This sand is so fun. I'm gonna fill it up with water. Just a little bit more. 
It looks like a volcano. But I'm gonna mold it into a ball. Something's inside. Let's soak it under the water to see what's hidden. Well, hello there, Huggy Wuggy. Where is the rest of his body? Wow! Oh no, the lollipop! This is a cute monster! Mom, Dad, look what I found! That looks fun, sweetie. Oh, where's my lollipop? It's covered in sand now. Is she gonna eat it? No! Stop! You are not eating a sand-flavored lollipop. I wanted to eat that! Use this instead. What is that? Wow, he's eating my lollipop. He's just holding it for you. And he's protecting it, too. You can place it on the sand anytime you want now. Cool! My lollipop is safe! I love this gadget. The family is about to board their flight. This is so funny. Hmm. It seems Melanie didn't get enough sleep last night. She's lost in dreamland. Her snoring is so noisy. I'll just put tape over her mouth. Well, that's one way to solve the problem. Perfect. <laughs> I'm kind of getting sleepy, too. Huh? What's that noise? Dad is snoring, too. It's so noisy. I know. A sleep strip will cover up his snores. That seems to work really well. It looks like Dad has a cute pacifier. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mom's asleep, too. Who's gonna cover up mom snoring now? What a cute picture. Honey, pack your things. I've got your backpack. It's so ugly, Mom. I don't like it. Why? I think it looks cute. Oh, well. Look at this cute bag. Now this is the kind of bag I want. Maybe there's something pink around here. Aha! The trash bag! Melanie's got a unique taste for a bag. Oh my, the trash! Why are you putting your stuff inside the trash bag? I'm ready to go! I packed my stuff. Check out my cool new backpack. It's like I'm wearing a cape. That's not an appropriate bag, sweetie. What should I do? Oh, a puppet! Looks like mom got an idea. Wow, a puppet bag! It has so many colors! And I can play with it, too! Okay, I'll definitely wear this. Thanks, Mom! It's perfect! Yay! Melanie is really addicted to video games. Don't slouch like that. Fix your posture. Whatever. Oop, she's doing it again. Unbelievable. Sit straight, okay? Hmm, my daughter can't have bad posture. Look, she's like an old woman with a hunchback. That can't be! No! We can't have you slouching like that. We need to solve this right now. How is a belt going to help? Are you gonna hurt me? Please don't! I promise I'll fix my posture! Sit properly. Is he making a seat belt? Oh, I see. He's tying Melanie to the chair. Let's see if you'll still slouch after that. What a smart hack, Dad. We'll fix your posture in no time. Cereal is my favorite meal of the day. Legos on the floor are never a good idea. The cereal spilled all over Melanie. Ouch! My foot! You ruined my hair! Guys, what is going on here? Oh my gosh! So many Legos! I was just playing. Don't you feel bad for me? Yikes! It's so sore. Wait, I have an idea on how to clean this up. Mom covered the vacuum tube with socks to gather the Lego pieces. They won't get sucked in all the way. And it's easier to bring them back to the toy box. Mommy is like a special agent with her cool hacks. What a mess! Floors are covered in Lego blocks. Be careful, Dad! Ouch! <laughs> what chaos! Huh? Oh no! Mom is going to be home soon! Ah, quick! I need to clean everything up! Little Lucas doesn't even care! <laughs> Dad is on with the vacuum! No, Dad! Stop! You're going to ruin all my Lego! Oh, shoot! Think, Dad! I'm sure you can solve this problem easily! What's that? A sock? That doesn't belong here! Oh, 
Hold on a second. I think I have a pretty smart idea. I still don't understand what dad is up to. He's putting the sock on the vacuum. Great, now I can clean everything up easily before mom comes home. Well, apparently the sock hack really helped dad a lot. And after the sock is full, you can easily pull it off and empty it. All the Lego pieces belong in this box. Amazing, the living room looks like new again. Here comes mom. Hey, my loves. Wow, I am impressed, honey. Since when did you take care of the cleaning? Cleaning? Oh, yes, yes, I did a great job. Of course, dad. <laughs> Looks like everyone is getting ready to go to sleep. Lucas still has some energy to draw. Can you watch him while I take a shower? Yeah, I'll watch him. I think Lucas just ran out of paper. Hmm, where should I draw next, then? Oh, I know. I'll keep drawing somewhere else. Well, at least Lucas can free his imagination on the walls. <laughs> Shoot, dad isn't reacting at all. Dad had better do something. Shoot! My goodness! What now? I was supposed to be watching you! Lucas! Stop it! Ah! We already talked about this! You can't draw on the walls or furniture! How am I going to clean this before Riley gets out of the shower? Maybe I can try this? Ah! The sponge! Maybe this will work! Aw, nothing is working! I am so in trouble right now! What am I gonna do now? Riley will be so mad at me! Wait, was that? Let me check. There is no way that sunscreen will wipe the drawings off the wall. I don't believe that. Okay, I'll give it a try. Let's see if sunscreen can do some magic. Holy moly, it works! Unbelievable! Now Dad and Lucas can get out of this pinch easily. Yay! That's right! Who has the best hacks in mind? Dad does! What's up, guys? Ah! I swear I was watching him. What? Don't mind me, our son drew this today. Lucas is really good at drawing. I know that, sweetie. Dad is not as good at lying as wiping off the walls with sunscreen. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Oh no. Mom, Dad, wake up. I need your help. I need to do my creative project. What's that? Well, it doesn't look like a creative project at all. I can't do it on my own. Kid, it's the middle of the night. I know, but I forgot that I have to present my farm project. When? Can't we do that tomorrow? Oh no, the deadline is tomorrow. Oh my god, why didn't you tell me this earlier? We better hurry. I don't understand what's happening. Okay, I'm sure we can still make it right on time. I just need some things for your farm project. Where are they? Shoot, there's nothing useful in this kitchen for Charlotte's farm project. <laughs> you look so silly right now. Hey, it's not nice to laugh at us like that. Stop it, Lucas. Hold on a second. Are those corn puffs? I think I know how to use them. Hey, I was drinking that. I know. The Midnight Art Club has just opened. Grab some corn puffs and some water. Now grab a single corn puff and dip it into the glass of water. Now try to stick them together, just like that. The water glues them together. Now you can repeat the same again and again. Just give me a moment and you'll see the best farm ever. Voila! The little house is super cute. Whoa, mom did a really great job. That looks really tasty. And also really creative. Happy birthday, Lucas. Happy birthday, son. You are getting so big. That's my boy. What an amazing celebration. Now comes everyone's favorite part of the birthday. Cake. Oh, no. Someone get the knife out of Lucas's hands. He's going to hurt himself. Oh, God. Lucas, what are you doing? No. The fingers. Watch out. One more moment and Lucas could have cut his fingers off. Hey, I want to cut the cake. What should I do? I can't let him use the real knife. Hold on. I know. I'm pretty sure I can make a fake knife out of this box. Let's see what mom is using for this hack. First of all, grab a pencil and make an outline of the real knife. Don't hurry, take your time. Then make sure you cut it nicely out of the box. See, now we have some thick material for support. The last step, let's cut the knife shape out of this green paper. Grab some pencil glue and apply it nicely to both sides of the knife. Now stick both green shapes on our first knife. And that's it. 
Now everyone can use this knife without getting hurt, for sure! Sweetie, I have a special knife for you! Now you can be the one who cuts the birthday cake! Wow! That's amazing, Mom! Nice hack! You did a great job! Why is she taking so long? It's been hours! Oh my! Just look at this little gentleman's clothes! He is all covered in ice cream! Whoa! What happened here, buddy? You're all dirty! Shoot, Riley will be peeved. I have to take care of it. Give me that. Ew, it's all sticky. This goes straight into the trash. No, I want my ice cream. But it's drippy and sticky. Unless... That's right, I think I have a plan. Let's see what dad has there. Hmm, is that a cupcake holder? I'm not sure if this is going to work. Okay, almost there. I just need to put it on just like that. Take it. Wow, it actually works! What a cool, simple hack for messy kiddos, right? Oh no! I think mom is coming! Hold this, son! Quick! What is going on? Oh, Lucas is just helping me out with the shopping bags! Look what I got! Beautiful, isn't it? Phew! Fortunately, mom didn't notice anything suspicious! Poor Charlotte! She caught a cold a few days ago and she's still feeling sick! How is my little angel doing? I brought you some hot tea. You're going to be fine. I am going to take care of you. I have some really good medicine here. What I see from Charlotte's face is that she doesn't seem really into the meds. Open your mouth. Here comes the train. Ew! I am not going to drink this. Yikes! Gross! Well, it's not going to be easy. What is happening over here, guys? What's the problem? Lollipop! I want it! Dad, give me it! Huh? You want some sweets? Sure, Angel. There you go. Yay! Huh? Hey! That was mine! No. No candy, little lady. You are sick. What's your problem, Jack? I don't get it. Wait. Look at Mom. I think she just came up with a good idea. Let's see what it is. I know a trick to get Charlotte to take the meds. Let's put some cough syrup in the spoon. And now let's dip the lollipop into it. Just like that. Here, honey, you can have this lollipop. Yay! Mmm, it's so delicious! What? When I was giving her the candy, you said it was bad. One lollipop won't hurt anyone, right? Huh. Lunch time! There you go, sweetie. Yikes, Mom! I don't want to eat vegetables! Come on, don't be a rude girl. You must eat good in order to feel good, yeah? Look, Charlotte is hiding something in the drawer. French fries? She is sneaking the food without blinking. Oh, my baby is such a great kid. It's delicious, Mom. Hold on. Why does it look like the food on the plate wasn't even touched? Huh? Uh-oh, someone is in trouble. Oh, I knew it. But I don't want to eat your stupid vegetables. Hmm, boring, you say? Let me think. I think I know how to make eating more fun and interesting. Sweetie, come here. The food is ready. Wow, what is all that? So many different options to eat. Let's play an eating game. Try it. Of course, mom came up with a nice way to trick kids into eating veggies and still having fun. It's like a game where whatever color you roll is the plate you have to eat from. This is such a smart move. I am impressed. And it seems that Charlotte is really having a great time now. Thanks to mom, who always has cool ideas like this one. Yay! That's my girl! And mom is getting everything ready for the birthday party. Oh, I have to hurry up before the guests show up. Mom! Mom! Let's play! I'm bored. Oh, sweetie, I can't. Now I have so many things to do. Here, take a lollipop. Great trick when you don't have time to play with kids. Oh, oh! No, I dropped it. Shoot. Well, it still looks delicious. Who cares? Someone, please, stop him from licking that dirty thing! Oh god, Lucas, can't you see it's all dusty and dirty? You can't eat this. I'm going to give you another one. Just be more careful this time. Okay, back to business here. Mm. Oh shoot, not again! Mom, I dropped it again! Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. What if I just... Look, mom ties Lucas's hand to the lollipop. Maybe this way he won't drop the lollipop for sure? That doesn't look like a good idea. Give me that! 
Mom! Oh, sorry, dear. Yeah, just a moment. Where did that candy go? Huh? That was the last one, I guess. What do I do now? I think I know what to do. This hack is going to be really nice. Look, Mom is tying the balloons to the lollipop. I still don't have any clue why. Voila! Oh my, that's right! The balloons hold up the lollipop in the air. Oh no! Not again! No! Phew! I almost forgot. Chill out, Mom! You know it's not going to fall anymore. Isn't that amazing? It really is. There once was an old castle that was built deep in the woods. Fairy tale time before sleep. Although it seems that dad is hurrying somewhere. That girl's name was Sophia. She was a princess of mystery land. Of course. How can dad be interested in reading fairy tales when the football match is on? Hey, where are you going? Sure thing, darling. I'm not going anywhere, I promise you. Okay, let's continue. Sophia used to spend her days in woods, talking with trees and playing with wolves. She was a special girl, but one day she decided to- Oh, poor dad. I have a feeling he's missing out on all the fun with his friends. It's a really intense football match, and he doesn't even know who's winning. Get yourself over here, Jack. You're missing all the action here. Where are you going again, dad? Can't you stay with me? Being a parent is not easy. Right, Jack? Okay, okay. I'm not going anywhere. I will stay here with you, my little angel. Whoa, okay. Let's continue reading, shall we? Where did we stop? Hmm, but Sophia was so curious about the- Great, Charlotte is sleeping. Now dad can leave. Yay, my hand is free. Now I just need to leave the room. Shoot! Dad, get back here and read me my favorite fairy tale. Poor guy just wants to watch the football match in peace. Huh. You are not leaving. Got it? <laughs> of course, sweetie. So, Sophia decided to go visit the village by herself. And... Oh, Charlotte fell asleep again. You can't leave her until she falls into a deep sleep. Oh, look, maybe Dad can watch the football game here. Shoot, the stream is lagging. Ugh, this is really ticking me. Dad, can you read me more? Of course, honey. Huh? What is this look on Dad's face? Fairy tale and phone? I know. Sophia traveled for three days and three nights, but because she Wow, that is brilliant. Dad is recording himself reading a fairy tale. Got it. Now let's play. There once was an old castle that was built deep in the woods. The Watch out for the toy, Dad. You don't want to wake up Charlotte one more time, do you? Yes, finally I made it. Now I can go watch football with my boys. <laughs> oh no, Charlotte's favorite Barbie doll is in danger. Hey, stop it. You're hurting my doll. No, I took her first. Whoa, the leg. The leg is off. Oopsie. Look what you've done, you monster. Now my Barbie doll is missing her leg. Dad! What happened, sweetie? Are you okay? Who hurt you? Lucas broke my Barbie's leg. Hold on, sweetie. I'm sure we can do surgery on your little doll, okay? She will be fine, I swear. Okay, it should hold. Oh, shoot. What are we going to do? I can't hear. Is that a 3D pen? I know. Let me handle the situation right. Now I definitely know what to do. Let's see how dad will become the hero of the day. Grab your doll and decorate it. Free your imagination. If Barbie doesn't have legs, maybe she can be a mermaid? Well, that looks interesting. Almost there. Wow, just look at the final result. It's magnificent. There you go, sweetie. She's a mermaid. Wow, Dad, I am so happy. I am so sorry for hurting your Barbie. Oh, that is so cute. Nice job, Dad. After a long day, Charlotte is peacefully sleeping. Oh, no, what is that? Ah, what was that? Oh, no, someone is hiding in the closet as well. What happened, sweetie? Are you all right? He's in the closet! Huggy Wuggy is trying to attack me! Okay, 
See? There are no monsters here. Maybe it was just a bad dream. And another monster is under my bed. She just had a bad dream and now she thinks monsters are hiding in her room. Oh, what do I do? Maybe I can think of something for this. Hmm, I think I have an idea. Let's see what mom is up to. Grab a sprayer and some colorful stickers. Now prepare your hot glue gun and write down the name on the sprayer that will scare the monsters away. Now this sprayer will have superpowers to protect every single corner of the room from boogeymen and monsters. Now grab the little stickers and put them on top of the sprayer. Be creative and put as many stickers as you want. Voila! One, two, three, no! Go away, you disgusting monsters! Woohoo! No monsters! Yay! That's my brave girl. Now you can go back to sleep. Your room is safe and so are you. Wow, mom did an amazing trick here. Wait, look, what is dad doing here? Hmm, look, Riley, not that I am afraid, but maybe we could use it in our bedroom as well. Ha, dad is afraid as well. <laughs> Good night, my little angel. Have sweet dreams.